Hey y'all, this is Dina. Welcome to my channel. Okay, I'm back with another quick little sewing project today. I made a sweet little zipper pouch. Look how cute it is. It's fully lined and it has a hook over here so you can hook your keys or whatever. And um, as you see here, it's awfully cute. Now the fabric I got it from Hobby Lobby. It was a fat quarter. And so I have enough to do another one of these. So I thought when I was sitting here making it, I'll just show you guys what I did. This is super, super simple. Now I don't have another blue um, um, zipper, but I do have a white one. So the white one is going to work just fine. So let me just show you how I did this. Okay, so the fabric that you're going to need is you're going to need a piece of fat, two pieces of fabric, five by nine. And then this interfacing right here is like a, it's like a Pellon interfacing. It feels like thick paper and it's got a sheer side on one side that you can iron. So um, the first thing you're gonna need to do after you've cut your fabric is excuse my little ironing board. I think when I'm done with this, I might recover my board. I'm gonna give my pieces of fabric a good press. Let's see if I can make, get my light over here better. Okay, give them a good, good press there. Okay. So what you wanna do is this piece of interfacing or this piece of Pellon, and let me see if I've got the paper that came with it. I found it in my stash, and I'm like, oh, this is gonna work fine. But this is what it looks like. It's Craft Fuse is what it's called. And it, like I said, it's by Pellon. So it feels kind of like a really thick cardboard almost. So what you wanna do is you wanna adhere this to the back of the pretty fabric. So make sure that you get this nicely lined up. My husband's working on his Mustang out in the garage, y'all. So if you hear noise of a car through the wall, you'll know that's what it is. Okay, I'm gonna adhere this really well. Oh, there it goes. It's all started up and making noise. Okay. Okay, so that looks pretty good. I've already got my piece of fabric right here. I'm gonna throw it on the iron. I like to iron this really, really, really well. Now there's shortcuts to doing this, but I'm gonna do it the I'm gonna do it a way that's easier for like newer beginner sewers to understand. If you know how to sew this without doing the extra steps like I'm going to do, then go for it. Um, but yeah, now my 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 zipper is like a like an off white, but it's what I have on hand, so it's gonna work. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this to the sewing machine, and this is my this is my of course this is the outer part, and you're gonna want to put your zipper teeth side down and you're going to sew it all a seam along there to adhere it and then you would sew another piece your interfacing or your inside piece on top of it if you can sew all three of these together sorry i didn't realize i was out of frame there um if you can show if you can sew um, all three of them together and keep it all straight then go for it that's normally what i'm going to do but i'm going to do one piece at a time so I can um, help the new beginners on this. So let's head on over to the sewing machine and we'll get this started. Okay, so here's the outer fabric and it's got the Pellon adhered to it. And I'm gonna do my teeth side down. It doesn't really matter which side you have your zipper pull on, that's up to you. I'm not even gonna worry about which side it's on. It doesn't really matter to me. Some people have a preference on which side they're gonna put it on. So the first thing that I'm gonna do, now normally I would layer everything up and do this all at once, but there are some beginners out there that maybe uh, are new to sewing and if it's easier for you to install a zipper doing it one layer at a time, then go for it. So I've got my zipper foot on and um, actually I need to put my zipper foot on the other side. Okay, now I got my zipper foot on. And I'm gonna, I like to line my zipper foot up with the edge of the zipper. That's kind of how I gauge. Um, it's up to you. I'm gonna back stitch 
And then I'm just going to try to keep my zipper as straight as I can. And I'm just going to hold this in place, keeping the top, the edge of the zipper with the edge of my fabric. Just gonna trim this so I got a really funny story for you all I've got a dad story hope you're ready for it <laughs> okay so my brother ordered my dad a new lift chair and it w arrived at my house day before or at yesterday it arrived yesterday so um, my husband and I we had to go today okay so I'm gonna now I'm now that I've got this one adhered I'm going to put it pretty sides down and line them up. Make sure you line it up with the edge of your fabric and make sure the top's all lined up. And then I'm gonna make sure. I'm using my Clover Wonder Clips. I've had these clips for probably eight or nine years and they work wonderful. They are a true staple in my craft room Okay, make sure you get the sides lined up as well as the top. I'm going to put this under here. Line this up. So anyway, as far as my dad. So we, um, my husband and I, we loaded up my dad's chair. And we took it to East Texas where my dad lives. And of course, we can't go in to the assisted living facility. So we had to have their maintenance man come out and, and um, he managed to take it in and so forth. So, you know, my dad, you know, sometimes he sleeps hard and he doesn't always make it to the potty um, at, at nighttime mainly. During the day, he's okay. But sometimes if he sleeps hard, you know, and we try to keep covers on his, on his chair, but you know, sometimes he takes them off. Okay, so now that I've got my 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 inner fabric and my outer all together kind of take it and you want to kind of finger press it kind of get it down take it to your iron if you like and i like to use my clips if i'm not going over right over to the iron and i like to just hold it down and i'm going to do a top stitch right along the edge there keeps everything down so anyway, um, let's see which side. I'm going to switch my thing. I'm not going to change my zipper foot for this. I'm just going to go with my, go with this. So, okay. So anyway, so we, we had to cart away my dad's old chair and it was pretty raunchy. Uh, I mean, it still looked good, but you know, he had had an accident on it and you could tell he had had an accident on it. Okay, go slow. I mean, you couldn't see any stains. There was no rips in it. It was a lift chair, but we had to use a, uh, something off of the lift chair. So the lift chair did not work anymore. And you know, it kind of would get stuck for him. And so we're like, what do we do with this chair? And so um, I told my husband, do you think that we could donate this to the Goodwill? Cause maybe whoever purchases it, they can fix it. So I was like, okay. So I called, I called um, the town that we were going through Okay, so that looks pretty good. Got a little off right there. I am not a professional seamstress, but I just give it a good try. Okay, sorry y'all, I had a call. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Here is your interfacing, okay, or your inside piece. And we need to adhere this where it's gonna be on the inside. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to attach it right here where I'm gonna be putting these sides together. There's the other side. So it's got two pretty sides facing each other. I'm gonna line these up with the edge of my, the zipper. And just like that. And then I'm gonna sew a top stitch right over here on this side. Okay, so let's get going. Can hold it in place. Okay, I'm going to try to see if I can do it without moving my zipper foot. Just holding them 
because you want to try to make sure they stay even. You can back stitch as you want. Okay, so now it looks kind of crazy. It looks like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it inside out or put it the right sides out. And now you see that the zipper part is, is right up inside so you don't see this part of your zipper okay it's all down inside so now i'm just gonna take my clips and i'm gonna hold this part down and i'm gonna do a top stitch right along there anyway we were able to get rid of the chair so uh, we were grateful that the goodwill was Good enough to take it. Hopefully, someone will be able to fix the minor things that's on it. Um, and hopefully, someone will have good use. But I thought it was pretty funny that my husband and I were like, Hurry, we got to leave the Goodwill because what if they decide they don't want to take it? Anyway, that was, that was our crazy time for the day. We left and we drove back. And we were about 20 miles from our house. And um, we stopped and had some lunch came home we took a little nap it was great and um yeah okay now so i've got my zipper foot i'm gonna do a top stitch all along here just go as straight as you can Let me pull this out okay Anyway, hopefully someone will be proud to have the chair. I hope so. Still a good chair. It just needs to be shampooed, and it was used for several years. And, uh, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to trim off these extra pieces. Now, make sure that when you open, you had to make sure when you were putting this other side, you opened up your zipper all the way and now as you see here this is what it's starting to look like looks like a little tube up in there so that looks pretty good but now um what we need to do is we're going to turn it in so we need to have it inside out so i'm going to put my blue dots on the inside i am going to take this and i'm going to line it up but make sure that your zipper pull because my zipper is too long and you need at least probably at least a nine inch zipper for this. I always do a little bit longer. This is what I had on hand. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna line up the sides of your little pouch. Put that zipper at the top. I'm just gonna use my clips and I'm gonna hold it down. And that Pelon, it actually helps you to keep a shape so make sure you got your zipper like about halfway and we're gonna do one side first and then we'll do the other but I'm gonna just clip this just to hold it in place okay so here's what it looks like I'll trim off these when we're done I'm gonna trim uh, I'm gonna sew this side first Okay, and I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start at the bottom and work my way up. That's just what I prefer. I'm gonna remove my zipper foot. I'm gonna use my regular foot on here. So, okay, so here it is. I'm making sure everything's nice and flat. I'm just gonna do quarter inch seam allowance. I'm gonna back stitch at the bottom. And remove one of my clips. Holding it in place. Now, if you have a serger, use a serger to seal this up. I do not have a serger, so I'm just going to use my machine. Just like this, and I'm going over those teeth. And you can back stitch on it, but I'm gonna run my machine. I'm gonna run it over one more time just because that makes me feel better. This is a great craft fair idea. So try this on the 
try this uh, for craft fair as well. Now I'm saying my craft fair stuff, but you know, I'm just praying we do have a craft fair. I'm hoping that COVID slows down enough for us to do our craft fair, but you know what? I'm going to keep planning little at a time. And um, that way then I will be ready if we do have one. Okay, so as you see here, I got this all right here. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to trim. Of course, I'm going to trim this little friend off. So that looks good. And I'm going to trim this right along the edge. You can use peaking shears if you want. Um, I'm just going to use my scissors. Just like that. And, um, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it over on a zigzag. Start, I'm starting at my bottom. And I'm going to zigzag the edge. Let me get to that zipper. Okay, I'll just go slow. It'll be fun. Now, you may, I'm using a nylon zipper. So... If you use a nylon zipper, you know, you can trim those. Okay, so there you go. It's got that zigzag on there. Now let's work on the other side. Now the other side, we're gonna put a little, we're gonna put this little hook, and I covered this with some ribbon, as you see here it is. Um, but we need to put our little loop over here. And I've already cut one, and this is a two by um, two and a half. So it's two wide and two and a half long. I ironed it in half. Then I ironed it in half again, and then folded it. I've got it all ironed up. And then I have these D-rings that I got, I think, on Amazon. I'm not really sure. I've had them a very long time. And I'm just going to put my D-ring on here. You can put just a little ring if you want. But I'm going to use my D-rings because it has the hook. Or it has the, the lobster clasp on it. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want this adhered onto the side of the back. So I'm gonna undo the top, stick it right down inside. Um, I'm going down about it, about that much, about, I don't know, about an inch, inch, about three, four, seven inch. I'm going to be, put my clip. I'm gonna start at the bottom again. And here I go. Oops, I gotta get off my get back on my straight stitch here. And I'm gonna sew. Make sure you go go slow when you get up here towards your little key ring that you put up there. You wouldn't want your needle to hit that. Okay, and there we go. I'm going to sew it again just because I'm going to, I like to sew mine twice and I know I'm going to put a zigzag, but I just want to make sure everything is looking good. Okay. Trim that. I'm going to trim these off. This is the fastest little project. So I'm going to trim this down just a little bit. Like I said, if you have peaking shears, um, it's good to use those, but I'm just going to go with using a zigzag. Now moving it back to zigzag. I'm going to zigzag my sides. Okay, so there we go. Now I'm gonna take my fingers. I'm gonna push my zipper over. So I know you can't see what I'm doing. I gotta get my zipper over. Okay, so there we go. I'm gonna flip it inside out. Now I can hear my husband out there talking on the phone. He's just a chatting away. 
talking in Filipino. My husband is from the Philippines, if you haven't heard me ever say that before. I did meet him here in Texas, but he was born in Manila. So we are blessed because my husband has a beautiful tan and my children do too. Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna make sure I get my the zipper over here. I wanna push this out as best I can. Okay, so I got my zipper. I'm gonna trim off any little strings I've got. Looks pretty good. And there's my pouch. Okay, let's make it, let's go back over to the ironing board. We're gonna give this a press and I'm gonna show you how I added a little ribbon to make it look pretty. Okay, so here we are. I'm just gonna take, I wanna push this zipper up, up here on the corner as much as I can. I'm just gonna press that. First time I ever did zippers, I was very intimidated. I was very scared. And then I realized it was not that hard. Um, I, I do not profess to be a seamstress. I only sew crafts and I just do the best I can. There are a lot of people out there that are pros at this stuff and um, I just try my best. Okay, so there you go. Look at the inside, look. Okay, so that looks real good. So as you see here, now I got two. Okay. So now what I did when I added the ribbon over here, you can add some tassels, you can add whatever you want, or leave it just the way it is. It's up to you. So since I have my key ring over here and you can attach this to your keys, I just thought it's kind of pretty to add some ribbon or something on it. So all I did is I put my ribbon through the loop and if I can get it through the loop, I'll be doing good. Talk to my dad a while ago, and I'm gonna use my scissors just to press it through. Talk to my dad while ago, he was doing good and loving his new chair. So he was coughing. I said, Dad, why are you coughing? He said, because I mean peanut butter and honey. He, my dad would rather choke to death. <laughs> he loves peanut butter so much. It's like he has always loved it and he loves it so much. And I love peanut butter too, but he loves peanut butter. Okay, so I trimmed off my ribbons. And what I did is, uh, you could stitch it right there to hold it in place, but I just took some ribbon and since this blue kind of matches, just gonna use a little bit of ribbon. And you can use, I don't have any Fabri-Tac, but if you have Fabri-Tac, you can uh, Fabri-Tac this on. I need to order some. Um, so I'm just gonna tie myself, tie a knot right here. Tie it tight. And uh, just tie the knot, see, tie a knot. And I'm just gonna tie a little bow. You can hang some charms on this, you can tassels, whatever. I just thought it'd be cute to add a little ribbon on it. When I'm done doing this, I'm going to recover my little ironing board. It has had it. I'm just going to cover it with some new fabric. Okay, I just want to make sure I get this good and tight. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to trim this. And I'm going to trim this up a little bit shorter. And there we go. Look how sweet these are, y'all. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. They are just a darling. They are so cute. I love the blue zipper on that one. I didn't have another blue, but this, this kind of cream white one looks really good still. So you can see what these look like. Fabulous. 
So anyway, there you go. There you go. So anyway, hopefully you stuck to the end. I got another good story for you. My daughter texted earlier and my little five-year-old grandson, I guess he was at daycare and he, he found a bead on the ground and he stuck it in his ear. I was like, oh my goodness, poor little guy. And so she took him to the doctor. They immediately got it out. He was just right stuck up right inside. Now he's got some antibiotic drops for his ear. But anyway, I don't think he'll be sticking a little bead in his ear anymore. So anyway, poor little guy. But my daughter took him for ice cream, made him feel better. So anyway, here's a cute little project for you all. These are great coin purses and um, great size. Stick it to your keychain if you just want to carry the stick it on your belt loop. And you can just carry your little money on there and... Um, you won't lose it, won't have to tow it anything around. Um, but anyway, yeah, this is it, y'all. I hope you guys like this. Hope you give it a try. If you're new to sewing, um, this is an easy, beginner-friendly, easy little um, pouch that you can make. And um, yeah, it's, it's easy to make and, and really, really fun. Make them in all different fun prints, and they are a great craft fair idea. For these at a craft fair, I probably would do probably $5 a piece on each one of these. Um, with the time that you put in and so forth five maybe six dollars at the most um because they are small they end up being let's see they end up being uh, about four and a quarter by four and a quarter so they're the same before size. i go i wanted to tell you one thing i did not do on this one on the little loops here you can top stitch on each side before you put it in there it's not going to come out because i did not do that step on this particular one i did top stitch it as you see here um but i forgot to do it over here so you can top stitch over there but it's all folded up in there it's not going to come out you're fine with not doing it but um if you would like to top stitch there you go anyway thanks so much everyone for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope you have a wonderful night. Bye.